do you get pushback sometimes from higher level executive leaders when they need to be put in a position to tell themselves what they need to hear, not necessarily what they want to hear? And do they come back at you with, well, how do you measure this? Yeah, no, I, I, I think the biggest thing is, is complacency and leadership. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to be in a leadership role. And, and what, what I can say the biggest problem today is, um, hands down, and, and I, I had a cultural assessment company on my path to creating this 1 million exponential leaders that I would go into companies and assess cultures. And there's generally about five or six problems that every company has. But the, the number one problem is, is really this complacency where it's not willing to make decisions because it's easier not to make a decision. Even if they go and get as much data, and I've seen this in very large organizations where all the data would point and tell you, here is the story of the future, that if you want to be part of it, we can be ahead of it. And they have people in the organization that then get beat down. <laughs> no, 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 we're, we're doing fine. We're, we're you know, we're going to hit our, yeah, we're doing we're hit our goals yeah. this year. Let's not, yeah. we're not going to spend a bunch of money reinventing right. anything because, right. but even working with uh, Daimler, Mercedes-Benz over the last five, six years, the story I told them six years ago has now happened. So now they're ready and they're, they're really massively shrinking to kind of figure out, oh, wow, this electric thing is real. Mm -hmm. So they were making, you know, $20 billion investments in tooling for combustion engines. Mm -hmm. Well, they were the best at that. And that was kind of the problem is, hey, we actually, we can build the best combustion yeah. engine there is. We're not really that good at that EV thing. Not as good as that <laughs> Tesla guy. So all of a sudden you got all these people that had a lot of power and influence saying, well, no, we're going to stay with the combustion engine, even though the rest of the world has been telling these programs. Right. Now you see everybody flipping because financially it actually is showing them that they have to do it. And every other com car company has now made these huge, you know, momentous changes late in the game, but partially because of one exponential leader that their goal was so big that they wanted to change the car industry. They didn't just want to create a car company. Right. In fact, Elon Musk early on very much said, and Mercedes was an investor. Most people don't know this. Um, they actually owned 8% of, you know, they actually saved Tesla from vanishing from the world. Mm -hmm. They gave Tesla a hundred million dollars and got an 8% stake at a time that they were about to fail. And then later sold that out for a little less than a billion and they celebrated. But if they had owned 8% today, that'd be worth more than their market capitalization of their whole company. Um, so you look at the, the story is exponential, what you want to do is find exponential leaders. And this is what I'm going to create mm -hmm. and literally find if, if you don't have the vision to have something very, find right. something you love mm -hmm. and attach yourself to a purpose that's so big right. that you can grow as big as possible into it. And then if you outgrow it, then outgrow it because right. that's, that's part of my own thing that I tell people that come to work for me. My goal is that you outgrow me, that you succeed more than I ever thought I could succeed, then mm -hmm. I've succeeded more than I ever thought I could. Right. Wow.